Gaff, for a miserable day on the weather front, you must be gutted with how the game went as well. I'm gutted with the second half. Um, first half I thought we were outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Some of the football we played was terrific. Um, second half we were way below where we, we expect to be. Um, in, in, in saying that as well, I think on the 86, 87 minute, whatever it was, we're winning 2-1 and we've got to manage the game better and see it out. Um, disappointed. I, I, I thought Aldrin were outstanding in the second half. I have to give them credit. I thought they played some fantastic football and we knew before the game they were, they were a difficult team and, and they started the season well themselves. Um, but we got we got to learn from that. We got to, you know, I've said this many times, never get too high, never get too low across the football season. But we need to learn from, from that last six, seven minutes tonight. We'll touch on it briefly, the own goal to see us go behind. I know you're not overly concerned with having gone behind in a few games this season. Was today just one of those freak deflections that are going to happen at times during the season or were you sort of displeased with some with displeased with some of the build up anyway? I'd have to look at it back to be honest with always obviously it's only short after the end. I can't remember everything that happened from the game to be honest. Um, in terms of conceding the goal or how we played or how we started, probably the best we've started. Apart from the minute one, we dominated the ball. I think um, we were very, very good in that first half. It was only a matter of time before we scored. Um, I'm more disappointed with the second half. I don't think we played the conditions as well as we, we could have done as well. Sometimes the game's not going to go how you want it to go or how we want it to go as a group. And we need to, we need to deal with that better. As you say, it's not all doom and gloom. There were positives, particularly in that first half. We did have to work hard for the equalising goal. Matt's found it around 35 minutes in. How pleased were you with that goal in particular and especially Josh Walker's influence in that? Yeah, great ball from Callum, great touch from Josh um, and a good finish from Matt. Like, like I said, I've got no complaints at all from us in the first half. I thought we were absolutely outstanding. Um, but then it's a massive drop off in the second half. It was, it was um, apart, you know, we probably still had spells or we had chances, don't get me wrong. But I was just disappointed with the defender. I think. Um, if you want to be a serious team to, to get into the playoffs and contend at the top end of this league, you have to defend better than we in the second half of that. Are there things in that second half that you can pinpoint straight away that you weren't happy with, or is it one of those you'll analyse it, have a good look and speak to the guys earlier? Well, that's in the coming days. I think, I, I think the key bit is game management yeah, at the end of it. You know, some, and it happens, like we played Rex and we played really well and lost, that happens. And today we weren't playing really well and we were winning. And I think you have to learn and, and know that when you're not playing well, when things are against you, but you win it, make sure you win. Make sure you win. Do things properly, slow the game down. You know, manage the game better. And like I said, listen, we're, we're, we're an evolving team and we'll learn as we go along. On another plus, today saw the return of Angelo Galanta after a spell on the sidelines. How pleased are you to have a player of Angelo's quality back available for selection? Great to get hands back, great to get some minutes on the pitch as well from him today. And um, hopefully we'll get him fit enough to speed as we can. Hope so. And we've spoken recently about having sort of four weeks between games for rest and preparation. Do you think it's maybe sort of one of the best things we could have um, travelling for another um, game on Tuesday night to just give us that opportunity to bounce back as quickly as possible? Yeah, definitely. I think I, th I think um, we've been playing really well, and and sometimes when you have a bad half of football, you can can be at the end of the world. It feels like sometimes when you go into the change, especially how the last five minutes went today as well. Um, so you got to put some realism to it and reality to it. Now we look to go back in the training ground Monday morning and get ready for Woken, which will be another difficult game.